of Unido Sri Veneva and Berkeley. In fact, I am seeing him for the second time after Indoor. Uh, this instrument, talking about happiness, well, Unido is the UN industrial development organization is promoting inclusive and sustainable industrial development. So that is make, basically making industrialization, making that work for markets, for energy and environment and for people. Yeah. And today's conference we are specifically focusing on energy efficiency. And uh, the, the key takeaway is that energy efficiency uh, can be quite profitable for enterprises as well. So by saving energy, companies save money and they can become more productive and more product value. So energy efficiency is quite well doable. And to get started with energy efficiency, we have launched today Energy Management Cell, which is helping uh, companies to measure energy uh, use in the first instance. And by measuring energy, uh, we can see where the energy is, is going in the company, where it's being lost, and that gives an opportunity to then save uh, energy, in particular we're focusing then on the dairy, the pharma industries, food processing, but in the future also uh, also other industry sectors in Sikkim. So, um, Sikkim has a lot of pharmaceutical companies. Yes. At the same time, there is a thrust in hydroelectricity. Yes. So, how to strike that balance so that sustainable development goals is also uh, reached? Yeah, I, uh, I think Sikkim has an oversupply of uh, hydroelectricity and exports hydroelectric power. I think the current capacity is something like 2,800 megawatt and only use in Sikkim is 120, 140 megawatt. So that's like like much more uh, being generated than, uh, than is, is needed. So I think that even if we use hydroelectricity, we should still use it efficiently. And, and that is the main thrust of our UNIDO intervention. We're not trying to see how to increase renewable energy hydropower generation, but we're looking at how can we save energy in enterprises. And if we then have more hydropower, this can be exported to other parts of India which don't have renewable energy. Are you happy with the legislation in place right now in Sikkim with regards to sustainable development goals? Uh, I would say that uh, the, the legislation is more at the national level We're on the Energy Efficiency and Energy Conservation Act and then the Sustainable Development Goals have been uh, enforced or translated through NITI IOC and I think Sikkim is taking quite a proactive stance by uh, trying to be uh, carbon neutral or being even carbon positive to, so no net generations of greenhouse gas uh, from the state. Uh, so there's many initiatives which put uh, Sikkim on the, on the well uh, ahead of other states uh, in terms of achieving the sustainable development goals. Today in the capital there was a program to promote energy efficiency in industries and with me is Mr. Vishal Tiwari. Sir, uh, how was the program today and can you give a brief overview of today's event? Yeah, uh, today's the program on energy efficiency. It is the one which is uh, organized by UNIDO uh, in collaboration with GEF and BE. And since Sikkim is now a cluster, one of the important clusters selected by UNIDO, Pan India, so this program is probably the uh, culmination of all that uh, UNIDO has conducted in Sikkim over the past three years. Sikkim Milk Union primarily been the, being the epicenter. And uh, it's all about making the industrial units and uh, dairy units and then whether it's public sector undertakings or any other units in Sikkim, mm -hmm. it's, it's about making these uh, centers energy efficient and uh, optimum utilization of uh, energy management centers. Mm -hmm. And then the, you've, you've seen today, uh, we have launched the energy management center. Mm -hmm. It's an expensive high-end center procured from um, Germany and elsewhere. So this center will be put to good use by all the uh, units in the state of Sikkim in terms of measuring their energy, assessing their losses, you know. And ultimately, it's the financial impact, like what is the total uh, uh, money you've saved uh, by indulging in this uh, entire uh, workshop program, you know, and which you can reinvest in your organization or you can divert that fund to some other activity rather than paying it as a loss uh, just because you don't know what is energy efficiency and you're not doing things the right way. So how aware is our industries and how is the response so far from them? See, um, I would rather speak um, for uh, the government organizations or public sector undertakings because you know these private organizations have some sort of capacity. They are MNCs, all these farmers are MNCs operating in Sikkim. I'm sure they have this uh, stated guidelines. But we are basically uh, emphasizing on the role of the government departments here, mainly power department and uh, Sikkim Milk Union which are two important 
the entities which UNIDA has selected for implementing all this. So the response is good because uh, all the workshops that we have till date, especially in, when I talk about Sikkim Milk Union, we are already uh, pretty well versed with um, the changing environment in energy efficiency, uh, food safety and the related topics. So there is a fair amount of awareness and zeal and enthusiasm to, to take this mission forward. So uh, what are your future plans uh, with, in collaboration with UNIDO and other related agencies? Yeah, future plan, um, I, I don't know, see, um, if I talk about Sikkim Milk Union, I belong to that organization, so we are already ISO certified, uh, that is principally on food safety, we are ISO 22000, 2005 certified. Um, now as um, this one of the speaker mentioned that we can opt for certification for energy efficiency also, so I wouldn't say that is happening right away but that is something that we can think about and and generally when we have deliberations in our organizations there is debate on quality production manpower hr but there is less debate on actual energy savings uh, energy efficient equipments you know this has not been a good priority till date so leaders uh, proper legislation come into place, you know, in terms of uh, sustainability and energy efficiency. Yeah, I think with the, with, the, with, the, with the Paris Convention and all that is happening in the world and mm -hmm. India being a major partner in, in, uh, in this climate agreement and our uh, role, uh, rather commitment to reduce, you know, carbon in our country. Mm -hmm. So I guess uh, the government is already doing its job and then uh, when it comes to these smaller units, PSUs, we think up to a certain extent, and then you need to be GF helps us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, pleasure. Anitesh Arpradhan for Sikkim Chronicle Gangster.